iPhones are really good with the do not disturb modes, and there are actually more types of this feature. So in this video, I'm going to focus, no pun intended, on the do not disturb mode on the iPhone, but solely for the case of driving. So let's begin. At first, it's important to set it up and to customize it to make sure it's a perfect fit for you. So navigate to the settings and the focus section is going to be right there. So naturally open it up and you should see by default all the focus types. The first one being the general, do not disturb, and the one under it, the driving. We'll now customize it here. If by any chance you can't see it here, just click the plus button in the upper right corner and the driving one should be part of the list that shows up. Anyhow, click the driving and this is where you can set it up. It's a bit different compared to the other focus modes. One of the differences is that you can't customize the home screen, only the lock screen and watch face. And it makes sense because when you're driving, you're not doing anything on the home screen at all, so it's completely irrelevant. So if you want to, you can customize the lock screen and the watch face that shows up on your Apple Watch. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. The very first section are people, and the people settings consist of two parts, silencing and allowing. So you can use both the sections or just one. If you have just a few people that you want to receive notifications from, choose the allow section. If it's the other way around, then decide which specific people you want to block for the period of you driving. Allow calls from, well, this is another important thing, because even if you choose the right people, the silencing or allowing only applies to notifications. But phone calls are a completely different category. So either allow phone calls for your favorite contacts. These are those that have a star in your contacts app or from everyone or the allowed people you have chosen here in this section or generally from every saved contact on your iPhone. So only people you know can contact you. On the other hand, in the silenced section, you can decide if those silenced people can call you or not. And one last option in terms of phone calls is the repeated calls toggle. When this is on, even the blocked people, when trying to reach you repeatedly, like twice in a row, in a really short time, they will be able to, it's mostly for the cases of emergency, just to make sure that when something is really important, they'll be able to contact you. Now, probably the most important part of the driving focus is how it gets turned on. So if you scroll down a bit towards the bottom, there is a button to turn on the focus mode automatically. And this can work well in some cases, but be completely off the other times. Anyways, by default, the focus will be set to be manually turned on, meaning that when you click the button to enable, then it gets turned on. During other times, it doesn't. I'll show you how to turn it on manually in just a sec. But other options include automatically. That means that when your iPhone knows, based on the speed you're moving, that you are, in fact, driving, when your iPhone detects motion and thinks you're behind the wheel, then the focus mode will be turned on. But you may just sit in the passenger seat and the driving focus will be enabled regardless, so I'm not sure if this is the best option, really. These other two, however, seem much more reasonable. When connected to car Bluetooth, it's pretty good because your iPhone connects automatically when you get inside your car and your car only. In other cars, which you usually don't drive, it doesn't turn on, so that's pretty good, I'd say. The next option is activate with CarPlay, which is basically the very same thing, but this applies to the cars that support Apple CarPlay, while the previous option works even with cars that only have Bluetooth. Okay, but if you want to turn it on manually, you can do it from multiple places. If you go to the control center, you can just click on the this big platter here. For me, it says work because it's the focus mode I use the most. For you, it may be the driving one. Anyways, if you click on the rectangle, it enlarges it and shows you all the focus modes available to you. And just by tapping on it, you can enable or disable the driving focus. When you come back, you can turn it off by tapping the circle button inside the big platter, but you should also be able to disable it from the lock screen. So this would be about it. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. I really didn't want to waste any of your time, so I only wanted to discuss the important things. If you enjoyed this video, I'd highly encourage you to subscribe to the Foxtech YouTube channel for more of these tutorials, and also check out this next video right here. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you guys later.